said that one of the most important aims of existence of Pontifical Academy is uh, to help to development of nation, uh, natural sciences. Yes. But we know that for some centuries natural sciences develop, developed without any help of church. Yes. So, uh, what do you think, what is the role of the church nowadays in this help to develop natural sciences? Yeah. Can you tell yeah, me properly? To say the truth, uh, the church in general, also the Christian church, but mm -hmm. also the Catholic church, are very near to the scientific people. And of course, the fact that the academy was created in this climate mm -hmm. is a proof that the church was in favor of the academy because it was the pope mm -hmm. with this with this uh, prin prince uh, chessy to to create the academy but when beginning the division of the church especially with the other christian uh, protestant in these cases european division the, this part of the world not the, your your uh, the, the Protestants say to the Pope, you know, you follow the reason. Before was the reason of Aristotle. Today is the reason of Galilei. But it's the reason and not the Bible. <laughs> you know? We need to go back to the Bible, Luther. No? And, uh, and for the reason, the Pope, <laughs> the Pope tried to... to, to to concentrate the force in the question of the Bible, the justification, theological problems, and not, not sciences. And the sciences go together and was supported by the church because the academy continued, but not in a form uh, so strong like in the beginning. But when the popes of the of the beginning of the last century, understand that uh, the science have made a very important way and arrived to a very important conclusions about nature. That is to say, about the truth of this conclusion in relation with nature, and have a new approach, more realistic. He reformed the academy and give more importance to the academy. And this was Pius XI. And put the best scientific, scientific people and say, Pius XI, that the academy is his scientific senate. Very strong ideas. And the academy have a role very important in all the magisterium of the church, in relation, of course, of the things of nature and the, the, the body of the, the human. If we try to compare what collaboration is most su successful, collaboration of uh, church with uh, natural sciences or collaboration with humanities, what do you think? What collaboration is more successful? Well, I think both are very successful, mm -hmm. but it's more easier for the church to repeat the humanistic questions. But the real, the real, uh, the real problem today, for me, is not only to say the science is very important, but it's only a part of the truth that is very important. But also to say we need to understand what is the real contribution of sciences in the knowledge of the human being. Today, for the young people that study in the university of the European University, I don't know here, but I think it's more or less the same. The contrary, I think here is more 
in this sense, because you have a very important tradition in sciences, in natural sciences. Uh, but these people, these young people, need to, to, to have an, an faith that are in the line of the truth of sciences. And this is one of the tasks of the academy. To give an, a vision of the world that, uh, that, compo that are composed by the truth that come from sciences, that come from philosophy, come from theology. Real dialogue. Real dialogue. Real dialogue means that both sides can speak, yeah. not only one. And if we, if we try to conversate about uh, dialogue between the church and natural sciences, uh, we should say that not only um, professors of natural sciences can tell something to our church, but also the church can tell something to this yes. uh, natural science society. Of course. What do you think, what the most important thing can tell church to people who are members, who are members of uh, natural sciences society? Well, I, I think there are many things that the church can say to the people of sciences, scientists. Mm -hmm. the, the, the first one is to say, you are a very important task in this society. We need to recognize the history of sciences and the contribution of sciences. And uh, we say, we can say, you are collaborators also in the work of God and all the things that are very important. But it's clear that science is a great contribution in the modernity. The second thing is your truth is a real truth, but it's not the only truth. We have all the space of knowledge that we need also to accept. For example, the, the philosophy. And of course, there are the answers of the great questions of the anthropology and also of God that you don't have the appropriate approach to answer. There are another answers. And also the question of ethics. We, we need to have the ethics uh, is the, the science to to the good of the human people, to arrive to, to the happiness and justice in the life of the people, in the society. And of course, the truth of science is a good, a very important good, but is not the completely good of the humanity. And for this reason, the science need to be in order to the common good and to justice. And this justice and common good is in relation to sciences. We need to convince the people this, because this is important. For example, if we find the fusion, the atomic fusion, of course the atomic fusion needs to be for the good of the people and not to, to the world. And this is the same for all the great inventions and discoveries of sciences to, 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 to synthesize, we can say, to recognize the truth of sciences. They say there are other truths that are of the other space of knowledge that we need to be open, only to say, if you want, be open. You are very important truth, but it's not only the truth. And also to say, also your truth need to be subordinate to the good of people, that is ethic, to the justice of people. This is my answer. Unfortunately, in Russia, in Russian Orthodox Church, 
we don't have such an organization like Pontifical Academic uh, Academy of Science. If we we'll try to organize such an academy, what mistakes we should avoid, <laughs> what way we should choose? I, I think that I, I answer this question when I say to you, the first question is, for if you want to have a dialogue with the scientific people, also because the history, that many times the church uh, don't condemn, we can say, a priori sciences, and not understand exactly what is the reason that science give, because they don't study, and they are interesting to understand. I think the things also, because the history, in the end, the, the church accepted, for example, in the case of Galileo, the church accepted the idea of Galileo, but, but, <laughs> but it was very complicated <laughs> and, uh, to arrive to this acceptation. And for this reason, I think the first question is to know exactly what is the purpose of sciences in relation with truth, the truth of nature, and what could be the space of sciences to, to understand his real contribution. And uh, for this, I think that the theology, the common theology, have a very important idea, that is the truth is in God, but God participates this truth in different space of knowledge. And one is the sciences, the other is philosophy, the other is theology, the other is faith, they are different. And we need to put together, not like a concordismus, but like, like uh, analogies, analogies of understanding. And uh, for this reason, the, the, the first mistake that we can make many times, and it's very typical of the church, <laughs> sorry, because we have the truth of revelation, and uh, it's a very important truth. And to, to don't understand the other truth and not to be enough open to understand the scientific truth. That is to say, to condemn a priori sciences. This is the first mistake that we can make. And this is terrible, because if you make this, the scientific people say, look, these people don't want to understand nothing. And, it, and say, the ideas that they people, these people have are only mythology, <laughs> you know. This is a question. To have a dialogue, we need that you respect the other. Of mm. course, we need to the other respect you. But the other respect you if you begin to respect the, the, the sciences. In this moment, is this more or less the question. This is a, the, the unique mistake. And of course, to respect the people and to say to the people that he tasks is very important. I admire, for example, the Pope Paul VI, that in, in his approach to, to the academy, in, in his addresses, he beginning and, and, and finish all the address to say, your tax is very important. You are collaborators of God. And you try to understand what is the creation of God. All the things that are very important. The scientific people say, oh, this is very important. <laughs> you <laughs> know, <Continuously. laughs> yeah. to recognize, to recognize the, 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 the task and the, and the approach and the truth of the other. This is very important. Recognize the other. Hemens, thank you very much for this interview and for the conclusion. Maybe uh, you tell some words for students of Moscow Theological Academy, the biggest and the oldest uh, institution. Uh, of uh, our church, for those students who are interested in this collaboration and the dialogue of church and uh, natural sciences, maybe some, some words for the conclusion, some yes. advices. We say in the academy that little science is atheistic, but when you know Real science, 
you are open to God. And uh, I say, we need to have uh, confidence with sciences and to recognize the importance of sciences today. And uh, I am very happy to know that the new generation of the same for me, the same in uh, the, is the same things that uh, we have in our church. The, the new generation are very open to this because he understands that it's very important science. And I think that the modernity, the more important contribution of modernity is science. Philosophy has very contribution, but more important, I am a philosopher, but I recognize that more important than philosophy in the modernity is sciences. Also for collaborating to understand the human being. And for this reason, I think that the, uh, the, your new approach, your new interest, is very important in general for the men of today, but especially for your country, because you have a great tradition in sciences, very, very great tradition, but one of the more important traditions. And you have many discoveries, and it's very important to dialogue with your people to know this and to try to have a dialogue with these people. And uh, if you want that the new generations uh, are open to your message, uh, you, you need to give a message in, in, in accordance, in, in, in the measure that is possible, uh, with, uh, with uh, the ideas that are in your people. Uh, for the formation of your people. And uh, I think that this was the real ways in the past of the fathers of the church, common fathers, but the fathers of your church, the fathers of my church, that our task, that in the end is the evangelization, we say, the communication of the gospel, uh, we need to have both, both ways. The way that go to faith, revelation, to reason, but also the way that go from reason to revelation. Like Paul mm -hmm. in the Aeropago of Athens, when he say, you and your philosophy arrive I, I, I want to sp uh, speak about the, the, null, the, the God that you don't knowledge, but this, this is for the, for the popular people. But, and he described this God, and this is the God to create the world, and it's the, the, the God that made the human in the space of God. You remember the, the very nice speech in the Aeropago yeah. of Athens. Yeah. And this is the way that we need, especially today, to go to say, your conclusions are very well. And these conclusions are like a preamble of faith. And we need to, to begin with this conclusion, to recognize these conclusions, and after to say, ah, but this also, this God, uh, is in, is, is in the Son, uh, we have the Son of God that is Christ and represents this God, like his special Son, and, and the salvation is in, in, his, in, in, in his world, and he, he, he try a new life in the world. But we need, after, to put in the situation this message. I think this is very important. I, I'm very happy to know, really, uh, to know that uh, your faculty and, 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 and your colleagues are very interested in this task. That is a, a, a real form of new evangelization. And, and, and for this reason, belong uh, of our task and our conscience. And I'm very happy, and I express my more important 
Yeah, and I strongly support of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.